In this video, we're going to take a look at the comp editor and reason. And we're just going to go ahead and jump into this. I've got several audio clips that I've put together here for uh, this video. The top one, I just wanted to kind of show that in reason, you will have visual indicators which will let you know what type of audio clip you're working with or what you have in the main sequencer area here of the arrange pane. The top one, we have nothing in the bottom right corner, so you know that that's a single take clip. If you double click, it's going to open up the inline editor where you can adjust the uh, slices uh, and do some other editing. You can also click on the open and comp edit here that becomes available to you when the inline editor is open. So if I click that, then you are now in the comp editor. I'll escape out. And the next one we have here, if you take note, there are two parallel bars in the bottom right corner. This is a single take clip, but what that means is that there's more than one comp row in here. The other ones have been silenced and it's in single take mode. So if I double click, it's going to still open the inline editor. If I go over to the left here in the track list and choose open and comp edit, you can see that there's more than one comp row. It's just that the one below is grayed out um, and is silenced. You can also see here that the single take mode button is selected or pressed. If I unselect it, Okay, and I'll escape out of there. The bottom one, you can see we have several dots in the bottom right corner, and that lets you know that it's a comp mode clip. So if you double click on these types of audio clips with these indicators at the bottom, it will immediately go to the comp editor. So I just double clicked, and now we're in the comp editor. So with any of these clips, just know that if you select it and hit Control E, it's going to open up the comp editor. You can also just select it and press Enter. So let's go ahead and get started at this and take a look at this comp mode clip. I'm going to double click. And so we have three different comp rows, and I'm using segments from each one, and these will then be used in the main audio clip in the sequencer. Now, just for an overview here in the comp editor, you do have these single take mode buttons, so if, if you press that there, then it's just going to use whichever comp row you've uh, chosen that on and the other ones will be silenced. One other thing to note is you can rename. I've already renamed these. Uh, when your recording takes, I just put this into loop mode and set my uh, loop locators and just let it record and it played back and I record several takes and Reason automatically gives them names it's take number so and so, take number so and so, and so on. And I just went in, you double click, and you can call them whatever you'd like to help you remember. Okay, so these are the comp rows. When you're selecting them, you want to be sure that you just click once, because if you double click, say I double click on this last bar here on the, the middle comp row. It's going to highlight this area and then make that audio active in the main clip. So double clicking, now you can see it's turned the green color. And this is no longer, this audio in this comp row is no longer going to be played. So whenever you're selecting the comp rows, just, it's important to only click once unless you'd like to change. And I want to use this last bar at the bottom again, so I'll double click and now we're using that audio in the main clip. These can also be 
rearrange by dragging the compro handle here and you get a red line indicating where it's going to go. So if you ever want to rearrange, just know that that is possible. You also have some uh, level, audio level controls here to the left. And you also have a silence row here, this darker gray small row. With that area, if you want to insert silence in any particular segment, just double click. Okay, so now you can see this is turned that shade of green and it's going to play that silence. This is all silence here, so if you ever wanted to cut out some of the audio in your clip, just double click there. And, uh, so this whole clip is silence because the silence row is all that shade of green. And this gray bar here is the segment focus indicator. So wherever you click, it's going to follow to let you know that that's the area that's active. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of these segments from the comp rows back in. Just double click. I want that. I want that there and this bottom one. Uh, now these are the cut line handles so the cut lines are just indicators of where your cuts are obviously these handles can be deleted you just click once press your delete button I'll control Z and you can bring that back these can also be moved left or right I'll click and hold and you drag Note in the inspector that the cut, cut position adjusts so you can manually enter in information there and it will move your selected cut, hand, cut line handle. You can also move at the cut line as well. And just take note that my snap is off so if I'll press S, turn the snap on, it's, this is going to then move in quarter notes. So just keep that in mind when you're doing your editing. Now, when you click on these cut line handles, you'll notice that there's an icon that appears just above it. And that is um, the crossfade zone icon, or that's kind of what I call it. it. This is where you can adjust the crossfade. And so if you drag to the right, you're then going to introduce a crossfade between the two clips, the two segments rather, and you drag to the left to turn it off. So you just, if you want to have a crossfade here to make it a bit cleaner, if you're having some issues with artifacts, just select the cut line handle once Position your selector on top of that icon and drag to the right, and there you'll have your crossfade. Drag to the left to take it away. So let's talk about then how you can choose the, the, where you'd like your cuts. So I'll just select this first one and delete that. Delete. Just click once and press the delete key. Okay, so at this point, we're only playing audio from this top comp row. But I'd like to use some of these other parts. So essentially, what you can do, the first way is I'll choose the razor tool by pressing R. And I'll click there. So everything to the right of where you click with the razor tool is then going to be the audio that's played back, whichever comp row you're on. So if I want this last bar of the bottom comp row to play, just be sure that it's to the right of the razor and you click here. Okay. If you want this third bar to play, well, just uh, 
move the razor to the to the far left and now that is going to be active so um, and then I'll choose the selection tool by pressing Q and just remember that you if you change your mind you can just double click there and if you want to adjust where it starts or begins you drag a left or right so I'm going to delete those out and show you the other way which is actually my preferred way for choosing which segments I want to use I'll bring the, the razor tool again by pressing R and you simply just go to the segment that you'd like to use click and hold and drag say so I want to use this last bar on the uh, bottom comp row click and hold and drag and my snap is on but if you'd like more precise control just turn the snap off by pressing S I'll choose this here and there you are okay okay so um, one other tool that could be useful to you is um, the speaker tool here you can select that by pressing I and if you want to hear some of the audio within your comp rows without starting the whole playing back the whole track you can select that tool and you can then audition the audio that way if you have this uh, selection tool is active you can also press alt well I thought you could press alt and get the speaker tool but you get the the razor tool which actually makes more sense so uh, but just pressing I on the keyboard will bring up the speaker tool and then you can audition your audio now once you've made all of the adjustments that you've made and you've got all the segments that you would like to use you can simply hit the bounce button here and reason will then compile those segments from each comp row into one clip so we'll go ahead and press bounce and now you can see that we've got a new comp row of the bounced audio which combined all of these sections that we chose and the audio clip then also goes into single take mode so this will be the only thing that plays if I escape out back to the main sequencer you can also see that the three dots are gone letting you know that this is in single take mode but there are other comp rows that have that are just not active and so as I mentioned in the beginning of the video if you double double click on this you're then gonna get the inline editor so you you can adjust slice uh, slices if that's what you'd like to do after your comping all right so I hope that this has been helpful uh, I think I would like to do you know a part two and cover some more things in detail but I just wanted to make something to uh, get you acquainted with the comp editor and hopefully make it a bit easier to understand it was a little bit uh, confusing to me in the beginning but once I understood how it worked it's actually pretty intuitive and uh, works really well thanks for watching and um, feel free to subscribe if you'd like I'm gonna be putting up lots of videos lots of more videos on reason and uh, other audio software and some other gear reviews in the future all right take care